Welcome back everyone. I'm super excited because I did a little bit of shopping on Black Friday. I normally don't participate in Black Friday. I haven't in a couple years, but I was just kind of browsing Sephora site and I did see that they had quite a few deals that I was interested in. A lot of things were 50% off. So I did go ahead and order a couple of things and everything has arrived. It's been arrived for a while, but I'm just getting to creating this video. So if you like hauls, if you enjoy makeup and beauty, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. Comment below, I would love to chat with you. But if you're excited for this haul just as much as I am, keep on watching. So the box isn't too big, but it is filled to the brim. I am just so excited because honestly, to be honest guys, I almost forgot what I purchased because we are already into December and I got the stuff back in November at the end. So it took me a minute to film this video. So things have just been sitting here for a bit and I kind of just put the box to the side. I'm like, I'm gonna film with this and I haven't touched any of the products since. So I'm excited to actually start using the products and trying everything. Um, so it kind of feels like Christmas a little early for me. I did get a little bit of everything. So I got some makeup, I got some skincare, some body care, some hair care. So a little bit of everything. This kind of has a bit of a story to it, but I got two. So this is from the brand Dr. Dennis Gross and it is their Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. So. So when I was browsing the Black Friday sale like ahead of time, I did see this. This was for $15. It is a $30 value, um, but for $15, you get 10 treatments. And when Black Friday came and we were you know, able to order and get the deals, I couldn't find this anywhere. I don't know if there was a glitch, but I couldn't find it on their Black Friday um, portion of Sephora's website. So the cheapest one that I could find, I think this was maybe, I got like fuzzies stuck to me. I think the cheapest was like $20, $25. I honestly don't remember, but this brand is not like the cheapest, but it, it seems to be like really good, but you only get five treatments. So I was like, oh my God, for $15, I could have got 10, but for like $20, I got five <laughs> treatments. So, you know, a lot of people saw like the most within two weeks of using it. And so I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to see a lot in five days you know so so when I went back on the site I did see that this was back it was right there right front and center and I was like okay maybe there was a glitch because it's back on the site I think I put my order in at midnight for Black Friday and so later on it wasn't really the next day but it was the next day in my head because I went to sleep and I woke up but um on Black Friday later on the in the day I did see that they had this and so I did place the order for this as well so I got two but together they do make two weeks worth so i'm excited to finally start using this i gotta read the directions on when to use it you know whether it's morning night um but i'm very really excited because the results that the, the people's skin looked glowy and just looked so good so i do have some acne down here um and i have a lot of scars from just teenage acne um and stuff and just some like you know pigmentation so I would love for that to go away by using this. So that was a lot I feel on this product, but I need to share the story, you know? For body, I picked up the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse um, All Over Body Moisturizer. I am actually starting to use up some of my moisturizers. So I allowed myself to purchase a new one I have seen a couple people talk about this one. I think it's this one on YouTube. So I was really excited to give it a try. I don't know, does it like not smell like anything? I can smell my body spray, so I don't have COVID. <laughs> Maybe it's just a very moisturizing. Yeah. It doesn't really smell like anything. I thought it was gonna smell like sweet. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, I thought just by the name, creme de corpse i don't know it just for some reason i thought it was gonna smell like a vanilla christmas cookie or something i don't know um but it feels very moisturizing it feels very good so i am super excited to try this um like literally all over my body got that because it's winter time and we don't need to be dry and ashy okay 
Speaking about dry, I feel like my hair has been extra dry too and I feel like it's because again we're in winter weather. It's still considered fall but the weather feels like it's winter. So um, I got the Briogeo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisturizing Hair Mask. I'm really excited to put this in my shower and start using this because I need a hair mask. I am all out. Um, the last hair mask that I had, I shared with my daughter because she was out of her conditioner for a while and I just kept forgetting to pick one up for her. And so I just put a little tiny bit in her hair, just that way it was easy to brush. So we basically shared that one. Um, I went through it pretty quickly. So I do need to get her her own conditioner, but this is what the tub looks like and it's so big. Oh, that smells good. It just smells light and refreshing. That smells really, really, really good. And it just looks so nourishing and just mm, yummy. I'm excited. I picked this up as well because just everything's dry. Um, speaking about dry, I'm gonna drink some water. Um, this is the Ceramiden um, Skin Barrier Moisturizing Cream from Dr. Jart. Jessica Braun, I think, talks about this cream pretty often, and so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, I'm just, I just need something to just moisturize my face because I feel like my face is just so dry. Everything has just been so dry this year, and I'm just like, ugh. So, I've been drinking water. I don't know why I'm still so dry. Summertime wasn't as bad, but you can really feel it. Like the moment the weather got cold, I was like, yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's just, it's just in like a little tube like this. And I think it was like 50% off. So it was such a good deal, a good time to try it. And I will probably go through this tube this winter. Maybe not, but I'm dry. <laughs> this is the Fantasy On Point from One Size. It is the mascara and the eyeliner i wanted to try the eyeliner for a while now it's like a liquid liner but i just never picked it up and i don't remember hearing much about the mascara so this bundle gave me the opportunity to try both i can't wait to try this is a cute another little cute little bundle that i picked up from nude sticks and i feel like it was such a good deal so you do get two blushes you get body language and sweet peachy peony and these are full size because I believe it was in a Sephora sale, like one of their VIB sales. Um, I picked up their blush, bronzer, and I think highlight um, stick forms, but they were like their mini version. So they kind of look like more like a crayon versus like these full size stick versions. So these are the first that I have from them that are in like the full size. Um, so I was really excited to try out more shades and both shades looked so good. So this blush just looks like the everyday blush that I would use. And it's just a nice blush that it looks like you can use it, you know, winter, fall, summer. So I am excited about that one. I don't know if I'll use the actual brush because the full size does come with like a bl uh, brush. And then this one is Sweet Peach Peony. And this also just looks like a nice everyday blush shade but just a little bit more peachier so do I need more cream blushes no but I love them so much <laughs> this threw me off a little bit I'm not gonna lie this is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12-hour blush this one is in the shade risk I will show you a picture right here of what it looked like online, which is why it kind of confused me and threw me for a loop when I received it. And this is what it looks like. So again, I'm gonna pop up the picture so you can compare. I just feel like it looked more peachier on the website versus in person. So this does look like a nice, beautiful everyday shade. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off because I don't know, like it looks a bit too muted but it may look beautiful on me, so we will see. I don't know, I really wanna try it, and if it really doesn't look good on me, then I'll just go ahead and give it to someone. I've been wanting to try a brow powder for a while now, and I really was like trying to avoid buying a like expensive one because, I don't know, something about it, just I didn't want to spend so much money on a brow powder, but drugstore really doesn't have a whole lot at least for what I've you know saw and tried so um, I, the elf one is like okay um, the Maybelline one was just a total dud 
Um, so I was like, you know what? Everyone does brag about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. So it was on sale um, for the Black Friday. I think it was 50% off as well. I think a lot of this stuff was like 50% off. But um, so I was very excited to give it a try. I just love the packaging. It looks so, so good. Um, but this is the shade that I got. So hopefully I didn't get it too dark, but it looked like the one that would be like the most good, of, like best of a match. I don't know. So I think we can make it work. I do like that there's like a lighter and darker because some people like to fill in lighter towards the front and then darker towards the end. So I'm very, very excited. And then to go along with it, I did pick up the um, dual end angled brush from Anastasia as well. So I did get this specifically for my brows. All right, so this is what the brush looks like. And I love how thin it is because that will let me like do a very like hair like strokes and stuff. So, and then of course you have your spoolie. So I am really excited to try this out together. I like how it comes with like a protector too, like not just like this type of thing, but which I will probably end up taking off, but I like how the bristles, because I hate when like depending on where my brushes are, sometimes the bristles get messed up. So I do like there's a protector over that. Something caught my attention about this. This is the Sephora Lip Last Matte Lipstick in the shade Ruby. And I don't know, like the shade just looked pretty cute online, like on the model. I have to get some tweezers to open it, but this is just what the actual lipstick is. I don't know, I think it was like $3 with the sale. Um, I don't remember. So I just kind of like picked it up, but I love wearing these types of shades in like the, around the holiday season. So I kind of went a little cray cray with mascaras because everything was on sale. And so I was like, I don't like buying high-end mascaras unless they're on sale when it comes to full size or I will just end up getting the mini size because it's cheaper and I usually don't even go through a mini size within six months so especially if I'm like bouncing around between different mascaras so of course like I mentioned we have the mascara that is in the one size so that's already one mascara that I have but I did pick up the Lancome Lash Idol lash lifting mas volumizing mascara um so i'm just so excited i've been wanting to try this forever and i don't remember i don't remember if i ended up now that i'm thinking about it i wonder if i did try this but like in a mini trial version that i got from sephora or something i don't remember because now that i'm thinking about it i'm like i wonder if i did try it i feel like i did now i don't know let's let's see what the wand looks like because i will be opening this up shortly okay i don't know i don't remember if i tried this or not now but i saw it i saw that it was on sale so i did go ahead and pick it up another mascara that i've seen a lot of people rave about is the tartlet tubing mascara and so it was on sale so why not now's the time <laughs> i think Jessica Braun said that the mini one is actually better than the full size and some people do say that like the full size is better than the mini the mini is better than the full size so I don't know but the full size was on sale for basically the same price as the mini so I did pick up the full size um it feels like pretty nice but I am getting low on my mascaras and so it was time to restock for sure and yeah I'm still excited to give it a try this um, mascara is actually from melt or melt cosmetics it's beyond natural thickness ultra black mascara and it's their super natural lash and this one's in ultra black this just looks so good like the, the packaging and everything just looks really really good did anyone try this mascara did anyone hear about this mascara I don't even know if it's new if it's been out for a while but this is what like the model looked like wearing it and it kind of just sold me as well as I don't know which mascaras yet I'm gonna really use like first so I already opened up this one so this one will be one that I'll be using shortly but I don't want to open it up yet because I do have like, I'm finishing up a couple others so but the bristles I'll show you what the bristles look like 
it's just my type of mascara so I'm really really excited to try this one I think out of all of them this one's like my favorite that I'm excited to try another brow product that I picked up is from Urban Decay it's their brow beater waterproof brow pencil so yeah so it kind of just looks like that and so this one's like a like I don't know if you can tell but it's like a triangle shape so I'm excited to give this one a try I need to stock up on brow pencils and mascaras because I'm getting super low on all of them so I was like why not I think benefit also had one on there for sale but I didn't want to get too crazy so I just grabbed this, this one here and I got it in the shade dark drapes which is like a dark brown because my hair is dark like the bat the ends of my hair has like a reddish tone to it from when I dyed it but with the roots like you can see my roots are very dark so we'll see okay and then last but not least I did pick up the Natasha Denona um, love face palette this is the eye and cheek essential palette I do have this one here this one is like the glam palette or whatever and I love it I love it so much and so when I saw that this one was on sale <laughs> guys it was like $30 okay $30 I was like in my cart put it in the cart right now I don't know if it's gonna be as good as the other one but I'm so excited okay that's what the packaging looks like it's that mirror reflective and then oh look at this okay and look at this there's a film on the mirror so it's not gonna blind you but this is what the palette looks like oh oh my god this palette for Valentine's Day this eyeshadow the the looks that they did with this palette for the like marketing oh my god this highlighter here might be more of a summer highlighter which is fine because the one that's in the glam palette because I do have like the lighter they have two different like shade ranges of the glam palette so I got the lighter one so the highlighter is beautiful but in the summertime I kind of can't wear it because it will look it will look too icy so I'm happy that I have a darker version to use in the summertime and then this blush <laughs> okay come on guys look at this blush that beautiful blush color oh my god and I love the formula as well I love my glam palette so much so the eyeshadows just everything about this palette makes me very very excited and happy and I can't wait I cannot wait to use this guys and yeah oh my god okay um well that is everything all right that was everything um yeah I spend a little coin but I saved so much money during the sale so that's my recommendation to you if you are looking to like amp up your you know stuff wait for a sale and wait for like Black Friday because even their VIB sales are like what max 30% off and I'm like okay 50% off is way better. So yeah, I just spent a little coin, but I don't feel too guilty because everything was on sale. Everything was basically 50% off or almost 50% off. So I'm not mad at it. I am very, very happy with everything that I got. I'm so excited to try everything. If there's anything that you want me to try in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do that for you. I, you still might see these products in a future video either way, but you never know. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Until next time. Bye.